Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. So why not? Today I want to talk to you about a product which I have been using for a little while now. I've used the shampoo and conditioner. That is out, that's gone, and I've been using it in conjunction with this but now I've been using this product on its own. I'm ready to tell you all about it. If you want to know about the shampoo and conditioner of the L'Oreal LV Hyaluronic, uh, Hydro Hyaluronic, then we're talking about the product, uh, the treatment uh, serum leave-in spray today. But if you want to have a look about the uh, shampoo and conditioner in my review, I will leave that at the end for you to have a look. So let's jump straight in. So how much did I pay for this? So this is on offer at the moment here in Boots here in the UK. It's £6.50. All right. And it goes up to around about the £13.50, which is a little bit more more of a higher sort of price for a high street sort of uh, leave-in sort of conditioning slash serum spray. So let's chat about it a little bit. So L'Oreal Paris, we all know, very, very huge on the high streets here in the UK, um, probably in the Western world, to be quite honest with you as well. It's hydro hyaluronic. So what is hyaluronic acid? So you'll probably be used to seeing hyaluronic acid in face cream, sort of face washes, that type of thing. What does it do? So it gives that plumpness, it gives that hydration, it gives that kind of revitalization, that sort of boost of nourishment, that boost of moisture. If you imagine that real kind of flood of hydration. So if you imagine that for skincare, work really really well i've used products like that myself actually works great under the eye area brings energy to the skin and just livens and wakens everything up but what does it do for hair care so shampoo and conditioner i really really wanted to love that but to be quite honest with you i liked it didn't love it again if you want to know more about that because i'm not intended to talk about that one on this one um then have a look to the end and you will find that because i'll attach that at the end there for you to view now this spray so straight away we have got that it's two percent care system with hyaluronic acid to be quite honest with you the two percent yeah, okay, really good to know that there's 2% in there, but I'll be quite honest with you, 2% care system, I find a little bit kind of confusing because what's the 2% all about? I tell you a little bit about it on the back here. So it's with hyaluronic acid. So it's moisture plump serum. So again, what we talk about the skincare, we know that that can bring real great benefits to our hair. Why am I using it? You may think he's got short hair. I haven't. I've got longer length hair to about my shoulders. I've got bleached ends from about December. I have my hair highlighted. So my sort of the regrowth is really soft, really supple. My hair is fine, but I have a lot of it. And ultimately, it takes a lot more looking after once you've coloured it or if you've highlighted it. So I'm very typically sort of experiencing the coarseness, the dryness, the, the kind of the bleached areas, really finding it difficult to hold on to moisture, those type of things. I'm not going to be bleaching my hair anymore. I used to do it about every six months just to really put that cool in of colour, that kind of style. Um, and this is what this type of product is for, I think. If you kind of really kind of almost obliterated your hair with heat, or perhaps you haven't really done too much damage, but yet you use heat on your hair every day. Perhaps you enjoy styling your hair. You're a man or woman watching this and you do a lot of colouring or bleaching or heat styling, or perhaps you just want something to just put that injection of life back into your hair. Hair after a while, if you always think of it, so anything to your ear is a year, to your shoulders is two, and anything longer than that is a lot more longer uh, sort of been on your head. So if you think about it, if you were to wear a t-shirt for a whole year, 365 days, it's really washed, really worn out, it's going to start looking tired. So if you're not going to be using the right products, then your hair's not going to be looking its best. So that's why I wanted to try this. As I say, try the shampoo and conditioner, tried it with this. It does work well together, not amazingly I'm going to say, but um, I think to be honest you can have just as good benefit, probably if not better, using it on its own to be quite honest with you, because there are dare to say it, better moisturising shampoos out there than the one of this range. However, today we are talking about the serum. So it's moisture plump serum, replumps, reshapes hair for daily hydration booster, no build up, leave in for dehydrated hair. Okay, so dehydrated hair, this is the first sign of damage, the moisture plump serum enriched with 2% care, complex with hydrolonic acid. So that's where I'm getting my confusion from. Okay, so is that 2% with hyaluronic acid, or you've got here care complex? I'm not 100% sure there, perhaps it's just me. Okay, so instantly replenishes hair with a feeling of moisture. It increases fiber, uh, fiber diameter by 9%. The serum helps boost and reshape the lengths. Inspired by skin care, which we already spoke about, use like a daily moisturizer. Replump your hair with a feeling of moisturizer, all day, or moisture, sorry, all day, every day. Bouncy, revitalized hair, up to 72 hours, long lasting fragrance. Hair feels intensely hydrated, no buildup. How to use? On wet hair or dry hair, spray throughout your lengths and stylish usual. 
what I love about this product straight away of its packaging is straight away the Planet is worth it. I don't know if you can see that here. Planet is worth it. 100% recyclable plastic. I love that. I love any product which is responsible and it's and it's really taking responsibility of how us as consumers the product gets to us and then of course we get that handed over to us of how we then dispose of the product because of course it's a crazy wonderful world we live in and I want my children's children children to be able to enjoy the world which I'm living in right now. So it's really really great to see. It's 150 mils. Okay. Um, how do you really just jump straight into this? So how does it leave the hair? So it's probably best if I show you. So I'm going to take the band out of my hair. And as you can see, and I, I have not styled my hair of anything today. OK, I have shampooed and conditioned my hair with a uh, shampoo conditioner, which I really, really like, which is uh, pretty standard, to be quite honest with you. Um, I don't really want to mention that because I don't want to take it away from the fact of hair. But what I will say is that I have covered it in a review recently and I've done um, an Aveeno uh, Fresh Greens Shampoo Conditioner Review. Um, don't want to really go into that too much, but that is what I've used first of all to kind of give me that help of volume in the texture of my hair. Then I've gone in with this spray. Okay, so this is my hair. It's got no, uh, no product in it at all. Okay, so just brushing it through. As you can see, it's fine textured. I've got an undercut going on at the moment, which hasn't been cut in for a couple of weeks. But as you can see, it's fine textured and you can see the bleach on the end. Now, the thing which I noticed straight away as I'm combing through my hair is there is a fragrance. There is a little bit of a slight floral fragrance. Now, as a man, it wouldn't necessarily put me off. If it was any stronger, it would, to be quite honest with you. Um, now, I can brush through my hair. Now, this is the thing. I find this product works much, much better if you were to spray it through your hair, put your hair back. OK, so if you're like if you're like me and you can put your hair back into a bit more like a wet look style, then great. Saturate your hair with it. And then after a couple of hours, take it down brush it. It feels soft, okay? Does it feel the softest I've ever had my hair? No, I'll be very honest, it doesn't. And I'm concentrating on the length where the bleach has been in my hair, all right? It feels moisturized. It does almost feel like that I've almost got like a... I don't want to say this because it doesn't it doesn't feel greasy or it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that at all. But it does feel as I've got a little bit of a film on my hair, almost like that I've used a really, really light moisturizer throughout my hair at the ends, which is a real strange thing to say, I know. But to me, it's almost doesn't feel quite natural. And as you can see, what I do like is it does add a nice shine to sort of like the blonde at the bottom and as you can see blonde is really really difficult to get a shine on i don't know if i'm sort of doing this justice enough but you can see that there is a shine on here and i don't necessarily have that in my hair i can run my fingers throughout my hair and you know what if i haven't used a product like this or sort of like a leave-in conditioner spray or like a leave-in oil i can't just run my fingers through my hair because fine hair is particularly fragile and then add bleach to the equation it's really quite sort of delicate so you've got to be really really careful if you see i've just brushed this through it doesn't make my hair greasy it doesn't make my hair um feel like that I've got a heavy product in, but it does make my hair feel as though I've got something on it, but not like a hairspray product, almost like I say, like a real extra light moisturizer. Does it make my hair feel sort of plumped, voluptuous type feeling? No. I actually feel it's a little bit heavy on my fine textured hair. So if you're a lady watching this and you've got fine textured hair, but lots of it like myself, and you love those blowout looks of all that lush volume, then just be a bit careful of this. If you're a guy watching this and perhaps you use straighteners in your hair, or perhaps you style it with a bit of heat or one thing or another or a blow dryer, this would be good for you every now and again, but probably it's like a sort of like a health boost in your hair last thing at night. I've actually, I live in the family home, so this stays in the family bathroom and anybody uses it. So at the moment, my mum has used this. She's got hair nice into her waist it's colored and she's got fine textured hair again like me same kind of thickness um lots of it my mum's got a bit more thicker hair than me actually um she actually didn't like this product because she found that it left a bit more of a residue in her hair than what she liked and she tried it on wet and dry hair now for me i tried this on dry hair and it did make my hair a little bit greasy i'm afraid if i if i spread it near the roots so for me a rule is wet products always on wet hair dry products always on dry hair of course there's a little bit of an exception with some but not many so just be careful on that do i like the product yes i do do i find that it's any different than just a leave-in conditioning spray not really i'll be honest i don't i like the element of the hyaluronic acid but if i didn't know that on the bottle would i know it was in there no 
To be quite honest with you, I'd probably just think that it was kind of like a leave-in type of spray. One thing I will note with this, it's not an ordinary leave-in spray, because what I love to be able to do is when I shampoo and condition my hair, of course it's fine, so it tangles and it knots really, really easy. Um, brushing it through, I like it to be really sleek, and with some shampoos and conditioners that happens, some it doesn't. Um, with this spray, I was a little bit disappointed because I did have to... Um, well, I'll show you. I did have to sort of start at the bottom and sort of gently type of comb through because it didn't really sort of um, make my hair really that moist, uh, moist. Didn't really make my hair that kind of nourished to be able to just have the confidence to comb straight through it. So I found it worked better when I sprayed it throughout my hair. And then initially I grabbed the band and I start work early in the morning for around six. I work from home and um, or sometimes a bit before wash and condition my hair, put it back like this, and then later on, brush it through, then style it. Then I've got the nourishment, then I've got that kind of revitalization, and it's really, really great. Does it affect my scalp? No, I have a really sensitive nape of my neck at the moment, and all through, you may even be able to see, actually, don't think you can, right through onto here, so I'm being really, really careful. This, some may think, why on earth are you trying a product out? Well, that's just me, but this did not affect that at all. So it doesn't affect my scalp, doesn't make my scalp feel uncomfortable or itchy or anything like that at all. Um, does it run down onto your forehead area? No, it doesn't. So from that aspect, it's really good. Overall, do I think it's an excellent product? I wouldn't say it was an excellent product, but I certainly would say it was good. And I would certainly say it was really worth a try, particularly if you had that really dehydrated, stressed, kind of bleached, coloured hair, perhaps really over-processed, or you like to use a lot of heat on your hair. But just to set your expectation on there, it's not excellent, but it is good, and I'd say it was certainly worth a try. There we go. Last thing to just mention, did I find that it made a huge benefit with the shampoo and conditioner? I'll be honest, no, it didn't. Did I like the shampoo and conditioner? Yes, but again, it wasn't excellent. Um, so yeah, it was really great to try it out. Would I buy it again? If it was on offer, I wouldn't pay full price for it, but if it was on offer, yes, certainly. And on that note, thank you very much for watching this, and thank you very much for being here, and for taking sort of everything in, and the comments and things I received just means the world to me, so thank you very, very much indeed for that. And until next time, if you can join me, I really hope you can. I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.